Welcome to Macomb Fieldhouse on the campus of Edinburgh University for a special feature here tonight. The Edinburgh wheelchair basketball team will face the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hello, I'm Mike Fiorello. Ed Marin will be calling the game with me. And Dwayne right here will be doing the interviews. And Dwayne, this should be a special night. I've really been looking forward to this here since I first heard about it. Getting to talk to some of the Steelers players, getting to talk to some of the Edinburgh players here, that's going to be great. Hope we can get to talk to the coach and all that. So I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. All right, let's get to the action. Down on the court with the athletic director of Edinburgh University, Bruce Baumgarner. And Bruce, what an exciting event tonight. Oh, I think it's an awesome event. You know, like to, to uh, you know, showcase our wheelchair basketball team, uh, raise some money for, for their program and so forth. It, it's a great event. And this program of yours, this wheelchair basketball program, has been an outstanding program and over the years. You have a great one-loss record, but beyond that, you've uh, really encouraged people to really look at people with disabilities in a different light. Right. It's an inspiration to people because you, you look at, you know, what these uh, young men do and uh, the adversity to overcome, and, and you just watch how hard they work. Uh, you know, and, and as you'll see tonight, you know, you watch them play. It's not as easy to play basketball in a wheelchair as you think. And you got to hand it to some of the Steelers for coming up uh, to put on a nice show tonight. Oh, that's great. You know, it, it, it's a kind of a fundraiser thing, and, you know, uh, it's great to have them here. And, you know, Coach Glatch uh, does an awesome job. Catherine Robbins, uh, you know, put this together. Really nice event. And we can't let you go without congratulating you because we know you have a new position coming up. Can you tell us a quick a little bit about that? Well, I'm excited about it. You know, I, um, about a year ago, Dr. Walker had approached me about being the vice president or assistant vice president for advancement. And, uh, you know, it took a while to work out some of the details. But I think it's a great opportunity uh, for myself professionally. And, and I think it'll be a good opportunity for the university. I'm looking for some new challenges. And, uh, I, you know, I think it's going to be a good thing. And can you give us an update where we are finding a new wrestling coach here? Uh, we're in a, we are right now in a search process uh, for our three vacant coaching positions. So, you know, we're working on that, you know, hopefully within weeks, uh, days, if not weeks, we'll have a, a, some of the coaches, um, you know, hired and secured. Bruce, thanks for a few minutes, and I want to thank you for all the help you've always given us. Well, thank you very much. Pleasure. And joining us now, Jim Glatz, the coach of the Edinburgh wheelchair basketball team. Jim's good to see you again. You too. It's been we, a while. We did we did this once. Oh boy, several years back. But we were getting ready for the Paralympics. Yeah. Now we got it. Now we got a big game here with the Steelers. How about how'd that work out? Well, I, this all came about. Uh, Dr. Robbins came to me about a year ago and said, "Hey, a friend of mine has a connection to bring up the Steelers. Would you play them in a wheelchair basketball game?" I said, "Oh yeah, that'd be a lot of fun." So that just kind of steamrolled, and the next thing I know, it turned into this event, and uh, it's been a lot of hard work by a lot of college students and Dr. Robbins and uh, Dr. Burrell and uh, Terry White from Meadville, uh, but it's, it's going to be a wonderful night, I'm sure of it. Well, it looks like you've got a great turnout. Folks coming, must be excited about the thing. How's the, you know, how's the, how's the feeling with your players? Well, my players aren't, aren't, you know, they're not doing too bad. They're out there in their natural element. They're, they were excited. They were here about two hours before game time because we haven't been able to do a lot. Uh, Finals is next week, so I haven't I haven't really seen them a whole lot. So uh, they're going to be a little rusty. So they wanted to get out there early. So what's uh, what's your feel for your team going down the road? How does how things look there? I think the team will be fine tonight. Uh, we return everybody but two players, one starter and one off the bench. They're going to graduate in, in a couple weeks. Uh, we, we're bringing a young man in from uh, over by the state college area, and we're bringing another kid in from Tyler, Texas. I warned him we have snow up here, but it didn't seem to bother him a whole lot. Uh, he likes to hunt and fish. I said, well, then this is the perfect place to be. So the, the proceeds from the event, uh, how are they going to be used? They're all going to go back to our wheelchair basketball program. We are going to put 60% of those to uh, our program side and then 40% to our scholarship side. So that way we still have funds to make sure we can get other players here in the future. Well, Jim, thanks very much for being with us here. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here tonight. Down on the court, and look who he stumbled upon. Meville, former Meville standout, Jeremy Brown, now with the Penn State Nittany Lions. Jeremy, give us a few overview of your first year there. Um, you know, it was just fantastic to get an opportunity to play for uh, a college like Penn State. You know, getting down there as a young guy, just learning from one of the best running backs in the country and one to become in Miles Sanders, you know, it's just a great, and even better with that was uh, the schooling, you know, the academics and stuff is even bigger than the athletics and that was a big part of what my mom cared about, my grandma cared about. 
So, I mean, I just take pride in the, the things I'm not good at, which is school. So, I mean, it was great. It was a fantastic just to get in the, the mix of things and be able to play football and learn things. So, yeah. Tell the people out in Crawford County what Penn State has planned for you this season. Uh, they want me at kick returner, and uh, I'm going to be playing. I'm going to get a couple reps and stuff at running back and hopefully uh, get a lot more during the season as the season goes on, for sure. Well, the local people can get a good chance to see you, Journey, because you guys traveled to Pitt this year at Heinz Field early in the season. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, that's a, that's going to be one of my favorite games because my dad, my mom, and uh, my grandma's going to come to that one, actually. So that's going to be one of the biggest games uh, I'll have this year. I think you're going to see a lot of people from Meva going down <laughs> to that game to oh, watch so. you, Journey. Believe me. Yeah. Uh, your plans to keep improving on a football field and get your degree? Yeah, even better with that, uh, football comes easy to me. So that will pick up a little bit easier than uh, the schooling. So the schooling part, I'm going to pick my degree. And I'm going to take a lot more pride in that than I have done in my uh, my yesteryears, like high school and all that stuff. So because the academics at Penn State. So, I mean, I can't wait for the opportunity to come to me and just pick up on the things I can from being there. And tell the Steelers fans about the uh, young man, the Steelers drafted from Penn State for the secondary. Oh, Marcus Allen, he's he's something else. He's definitely a freak of nature, man. He's a hard hitter, great cover guy, you know, and an even better personality, you know. Funny dude. He keeps the locker room always dancing. He makes me happy every time I see him, so he's a great dude, yeah. Journey, good luck this year, and we'll be following all of your steps, and uh, nothing but the best, buddy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And joining us now is Chase Wolf from the Edinburgh Wheelchair Basketball Team. Chase, tell us about the program here. Uh, so I just started here. I'm a sophomore, so I came in last year. Um, the program's awesome, honestly. I mean, it, it gives us a chance to get back into sports. I grew up playing sports all my life, and it was always my dream to become a college athlete. And there aren't many programs in the nation. There are only 10 teams in the nation that have wheelchair basketball programs such as this one. Uh, so, it, I mean, it's, it's really awesome to have this opportunity. Now, what's it like to get to compete against guys, professional athletes, you know, on something that's going to be a little bit out of their league, but what's that going to be? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting. I, I love when, like, able-bodied people get in chairs because, I mean, it gives everybody, like, a perspective. They, they see things from our side of the, of the spectrum. And, I mean, it's always fun. Everybody always has a good time. It, I mean, we got a, a pretty good crowd here tonight. Um, I, think, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, it looks like a lot of excitement. A lot of uh, I've been hearing about this now for for a number of days. Uh, got got to be fun thinking about how how many people are behind your program. Yes, sir. I mean, yeah, we don't really get as much support as we would like, like during the regular season and stuff. So to get uh, events like this to try to get more people in and like get more people aware of these different kind of sports uh, is is pretty special. Well, thanks for being with us. All right, thank you so much. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Joining us now, Seamus McNally. Seamus, welcome to. Okay. Armstrong here in the coverage of the game. What do you think about this game coming up? I'm very excited. Uh, this will definitely be the biggest crowd we played in front of this year. So how, how's the program here? Uh, we did. We had our best year this year since 2011. Uh, we finished 19 and 17. So uh, and last year we were 14 and 14. So it was an improvement. What do you What do you suppose made that made that improvement happen? Um, we didn't graduate any players from the previous year, and uh, we all improved over the summer and then worked together as a team uh, throughout the year and got better. What kind of things make, um, what is it that makes Edinburgh's program so solid? I mean, I, I, I've heard about it. We actually filmed some things here in the past. I've heard about it for many years. What, what is it that's special about this program? Uh, well, it's been around for a really long time. Um, our coach also coached the Paralympic team in 2012, so he's one of the best coaches in the world. And it's the only program on the East Coast, so good recruiting ground. Very good. Well, good luck. Thank you. And we want to thank Dwayne for the interview. We are back here at Macomb Fieldhouse, Mike Fiorella, Ed Marin, to capture all the action between the Pittsburgh Steelers and Edinburgh University wheelchair basketball team. Ed, this should be a lot of fun tonight. Oh, yeah. I just want to see how bad the Steelers actually get beat here today. I mean, just watching these uh, Edinburgh University players warming up, they, you know, they look pretty good. You know, one of the things they're doing tonight, which is really cool, the score at halftime will be flipped. So if the university's up by how many points, they're going to give those points to the Steelers, and they'll take what the Steelers have. Uh, great atmosphere, great cause. The money goes back into their wheelchair program here at Edinburgh University. One thing about these players, I had a chance to talk to some of these players. They don't consider themselves handicapped at all. They they just feel that they can achieve anything anybody else can. Right, and, you know, just out, them doing, out there with them doing that you know it just shows you right there that they can and when we used to come up here and play uh, practice 
and watch our films here when I was with the Erie Explosion, a couple of our players went out there when they were practicing and they let them go and they said it's a lot harder than what it looks. It sure is. Some of the steals that are here are Matt Fields, Arthur Motes, Louis Lips. Remember Louis Lips from back yes, in the I day? Do. Charlie Batch, who was probably one of the best backup quarterbacks in football during his time. Also started for the Detroit Lions in the NFL. Jake McGee, Byron Allen, Lauren Hooks, and Josh Dobbs, the young kid that Steelers drafted out of Tennessee, one of the backup quarterbacks. And be interested to see where his plans are now that the Steelers drafted another quarterback this year. But, you know, this event should be really well received. Good crowd here tonight, Ed. On our side, it's full. It's full. The other side's probably about three-quarters of the way full. And, you know, Journey Brown's down there because his buddy Allen, you know, uh, played at Penn State. So he came up here to watch him. So that's nice to see him up here. Yeah. Yeah, I want to thank Journey for his interview also today. And this should be a great contest as far as to showcase Edinburgh University's wheelchair basketball team. Another good season for them. Coach Glatch uh, from Meadville, PA is their coach. He does a superb job. So uh, just a nice thing here. And if you ever have a chance to see a wheelchair basketball game at the college level, get online and check out Edinburgh Finding Scott's schedule and come on up here and uh, bring your family and you know, next year and catch a game. It's worth, it's worth the trip. So what are you looking for tonight, Ed? What do you want to see take place? <laughs> I would like to see a competitive game, but I just don't think it's going to happen. I think, you know, these kids down here, I mean, are really, really good. And that's one thing that Edinburgh brings, you know, for uh, people with disabilities, you know, coming into the college, which I think is really wonderful. No doubt about that. They do a great job uh, with the disability program here at Edinburgh University. Uh, we had a chance to talk to the AD, uh, get his insight about the contest tonight. And uh, many people know that uh, at the time we're taping this, Ed Edinburgh will be getting a new wrestling coach here at the university also. So people are curious to see uh, who will get that position. And I so as the crowd's been informed, they're getting ready to play. <laughs> it's a nice thing what the Steelers uh, family does. You know, they include veteran players, uh, old timers, and some current players, and put this together to give back to the communities throughout the uh, Pittsburgh Steeler area. They are a good organization, especially what they did for Ryan Shazier today oh. also. You know, Why don't you elaborate on that a little bit? That, you know, they, the Steelers let him to, gave him, you know, a signing bonus for his $8.26 million for this year. So that way it's under the cap and everything. And that's a good thing to help him out financially. And I see also today that uh, Coach Tomlin said he's going to be part of the coaching staff this year. Shazier That's will be good. part of the coaching staff. Uh, he has a lot of insight he can give young players. Get down to the PA right now and get the introductions.
we're starting to get the introductions. Fourteen is Kyle Cavalier. Here comes Kyle out on the court. Mr. Caddius Dupree, number 24. Number 25, David McLannan. Number 34 is Robin Baez. Number 50, Noreen Klain. McNally, Shanus McNally, number 13, starting. Number 21, Chase Wolf, another starter. Number 32, Will Speed. Number 35, who's one of their main players. And number 30, 55, excuse me. Pittsburgh Steelers will be introduced right now. This is their wheelchair basketball team. <laughs> Lewis Lips, number 83, former MVP of the league. He was one of my favorite players growing up. From Southern Miss. From James Madison, 6'1", 250 pounds, number 55, Arthur Motes. Arthur Motes, number 55 from Southern Miss. Loved watching him on defense. What position does he play at, Dino? He played linebacker. Number five, Josh Dobbs from the University of Tennessee, quarterback. He's got some talent. Jake McGee, number 80 from the University of Central Florida. By the way, their school had a great year this year, UCF. He looks a little big for that chair. Yeah, Max looks a little big, Max Filer. Ryan Allen. So Steelers, uh, what, six players with them tonight? We'll see how this goes. So you know what's interesting about this that it takes away how strong or big you are. You gotta know how to maneuver the wheelchair. That's right. Great setting here at Edinburgh University. Just to, the lights do make it better too. Oh, uh, the lights see. in this gym are fantastic now, and I tell you, the crowd couldn't be any bigger. And our president will be uh, doing a ceremonial toss-up.
A lot of media here today. And the Steelers get the ball first. Now with the ball, you don't know where to go yet. <laughs> no, they're, they're trying to see if there they can throw go. a bomb or something. <laughs> oh, a nice pass there. The long three. Oh. No good. Rebound goes to the Fighting Scots. <laughs> oh, nice, behind nice behind the back pass. Look at this pass move. Inside, shot is up and good. <laughs> and very quickly, the Enville University team goes out to a 2 nothing lead. That was Will Speed on the bucket. It's just somehow they can maneuver those wheelchairs that quick, you know. This one guy for the Steelers is... They're trying to get their speed down. Dobbs with the ball now. <laughs> Throws it inside. Back outside. Moats with the shot. Air ball by Moats. Look at going on a fast break. Is Edinburgh University <laughs> team? McNally with the ball, the point guard. Nice pass inside, up and in. Oh, they're just toying with the Steelers right now, Ed. <laughs> I got a feeling this is going to be a pretty big blowout. Good thing they flipped the score at halftime. <laughs> yeah. Josh Dobbs no, Josh ball. saying it's a lot easier when you're not in a wheelchair to dribble. <laughs> Allen with the ball now. <laughs> to Dobbs. Dobbs is going to turn around. He's going to put up a 10-footer. Good! Josh Dobbs with a nice touch there. <laughs> I think Josh played basketball back in the day. He looks like he has a good shot. Here's a long pass, fast break. Nice move there. Puts it up and in. Six-two. Brian Brown University. Looks a tired down there. He sure <laughs> he does. Hasn't moved from the baseline yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's stuck. Steal. How about this? <laughs> Wolf got the ball, long shot, no good. Look at the ball movement. I know, it's awesome. Malley with the ball, he's their point guard, number 13. Ooh. Allen with the rebound. Steals get the rebound, looking to spread it out. That's a nice pass. Nice save. Technique. Look how. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this work. Whoops. Three. Three. Good! McNally with three! Wow. McNally and Bro 9 to 2 lead with 4.50 to go in this first quarter. Play four quarters in this. <laughs> Look at Dobbs go. Dobbs Look is flying go. with his pink shoes, Ed. <laughs> He's going to puts it up and no uh -huh. good. I like Dobbs' shoes. We're in the pink ones. I like that. There's a long pass. Another three. McNally, another one. Oh. Rebound batted around. Goes out of bounds to the Steelers, I believe. <laughs> he got up. He <laughs> pointed. <laughs> <laughs> a little trouble here dribbling. Got a foul called. <laughs> Allen wanted a foul called, and they, uh, I guess they did call it because Steels will retain possession here. This is funny. <laughs> this is unbelievable. And you think it's easy, try to get in a wheelchair and steer it and dribble and shoot. Wow. Another covers of Armstrong. Armstrong covers all the events in the viewing area. That's why Armstrong is number one. Lips got the ball now. It's going to tie eight-footer. Oh, air good. ball. Air ball. Rebound and Burrow. Looking to break. 
Look at this fast break again. Down the lane. Tuck it with two. <laughs> 11 to two. Steals again, desperately trying to get the ball across. Their arms are going to be tired. Tomorrow. Yes, that's a good point. Ed just said that the Steelers' arms, even though they're strong, they're going to be very tired. Dobbs with the pink shoes. Puts up another one. Oh, he banked it home for three, I think. 11 to five. Man. Oh, he banked it in. The bank was open for Dobbs. I think Dobbs wants to play a lot of high school basketball. <laughs> Steals try to a nice pass inside. Ooh, across the way. Pass. Inside. Puts it up. No good, but he's fouled. He'll shoot two. Real spread will shoot. Spread will shoot two and two. He got fouled. Wolves had a good first quarter so far. Look at their technique at foul shooting. Look at that up and no good. Got a nice touch though. It's got to be a big crowd for the wheelchair basketball team, too, tonight, Ed. Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody's rooting them on. <laughs> Good. All net. Old Jake trying to get them all. He wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. 12 to 5 with 2.55 to go. Dobbs trying to turn it around. He's going to throw a pass, and it's going to be picked off, I think. Yes, it is. Speed on the interception. And bro, back on the offense. Wolf's got the ball, tried behind the pass. Dob said no. Now he's trying to get a pass. Look at this. Still has got it down the lane. He loses the ball out of bounds. <laughs> Allen lost it. Allen said, if I get the wheelchair, I got to run down the court. And that's what it's all about, having fun tonight. That's right. Look at this behind the back pass. Right on the money, too. Down the lane, up and in. Oh, my. Dobbs did not bound it. That was Wolf on the layup there. Most doesn't know where to Speed's go. Speed's harassing Dobbs. <laughs> oh, he throws it up. Can McNally get it? Yes, sir. Oh, nice defle deflection well, by Nate. Out of bounds. Nice pass inside, back outside. Let's get another three is up and no good. Rebound, back outside again. Ooh, not a rebound by the Fighting Scots, and we have a whistle. Three second violation, and Burroughs camped inside the paint. 140 to go. 14 to 5 Edinburgh over the Steelers. Dobbs bringing it up. Wheeling and dealing. <laughs> Wheeling and dealing. Wheeling and dealing. Look at this oh, pass to Lips. Lips got it. Eight footer, no good. They had Allen, two players had Allen <laughs> in the middle. He couldn't get out. They pass it up to midcourt. And uh, one thing they do well at is how they spread the floor here. Yes, There's do. a nice pass inside, up and in again. 16 to five with one minute left in the first. Speed with another bucket, 16 to five as Ed pointed out. Stolen by Edinburgh. Oh! Pass goes, oh, they, they got it. Nice move, back over, shot is up, good! It's awesome watching these kids how they maneuver those wheelchairs oh, wow. like that so quick. 18 to five in favor of the Fighting Scots. <laughs> Dobbs with the ball, almost lost it, and he, oh, he goes down! <laughs> he lost his balance. Down for the count. And he brings it up with <laughs> He him. brings it up, he's walking with it. 
And there he goes. Called a foul on. Twenty seconds. The guy's a long Air three. Ball. No good. Fifteen seconds. Let's see if anyone get a shot off. They're gonna throw it along wide open. Nice pass back up and in. Air. Long shot. No good. So at the end of the first quarter, Edinburgh twenty. The Pittsburgh Steelers five. Let's get down to Dwayne for an interview. So we're back with Coach Glass. How's it going here after the tough first quarter? I think it's been a lot of fun. These guys are out here. They're having a blast. They're enjoying themselves out here. And that's the Steelers. My guys are always having fun. But uh, these guys are taking it really well. I, I think they knew coming in that it wasn't going to be close. And it, it just looks like they came in and they're having a blast. Well, thanks. Thank you. Actually, Edinburgh's going to inbound the ball. Dupree, 24, throws it to men I was speaking about. Pre got it back, nice passing. McNally throws it over to the... Long three. Oh, almost got that. Craddock with, with rebound. Craddock with the shot, almost made that. Oh. Long three. And out of bounds to Edinburgh. Craddock has the ball, he through, passes it. Nice dribbling right here through everybody. Pass up and in. Dobbs almost fell out of his chair. That was Lane with the bucket. Moach using his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moats a long one. No, off the glass. Rebound Dobbs. Dobbs looking to go inside. Puts it up. No good. Rebound goes to the Fighting Scots. Dobbs likes that bank. Yes, he does. Look how quickly they get the ball down court, Ed. Oh, wow. Shot is off, but let's see. Rebound goes. Good rebound hustle. <laughs> Brian Allen still at half court. <laughs> Can't get out of it. Nice pass again. Up and in. Dupree with the bucket. 24 to five as Dobbs tries to work his way up. Gets to the front court. Stops, hands the ball, long three. I think the Steelers are gonna take long shots because they can't maneuver it. <laughs> they can't get shot. it inside. <laughs> <laughs> Allen with the fake, Ooh. now puts it up, no good, it's an air ball. So the Fighting Scots will take it out of bounds. 6 one to go in the first half, 24 to five. Steals with a steal, Dobbs oh, not gets it enough. stolen back. Fast break the other way, here we go, up and yeah. in, no. Rebound, no oh, good. Two misses. Lips with the rebound for the Steelers. Now, shouldn't you send lips on a nice long post? You, you, you would if he can <laughs> maneuver. Throw it but to he him. can't maneuver his wheelchair, so he stayed back <laughs> to play defense. Lane with the ball right now, showing some fancy dribbling. Nice maneuver right there, but Lane puts it up and in. Oh, that was a great move by Lane. It was. Lips was looking. Lips was like, I got faked out. <laughs> Twenty-six to five. Edinburgh playing with their second unit against the uh, Steelers, who brought six players. Dobbs. Dobbs is maneuvering. He's got height advantage. Allen with the ball. Allen's trying to get a screen. He gets one. He's going to put it up. No. Here goes Edinburgh on a break. Allen can't get back. He missed that shot. There's a long three. No good. Nice pass. Oh, nice oh. pass behind the bypass. Shot it up, good! Lane again with a bucket, 28 to five. 
This is why they're going to flip the score. Look at Dobbs dribbling down the court. Huh? Is he dribbling or is he rolling? He rolled it. <laughs> Dobbs now says, I can't shoot from that. i got to get a little closer. They're blocking for him. <laughs> oh. McGee was blocking for Dobbs. Denver on a fast break again. 28 to 5. Look at this move. Up and in. Oh, yes. What a Craddock. Shot. Zach Craddock with, with that bucket. 30 to 5, the Fighting Scots. Dobbs will bring it across court with 3.50 in the clock running here in the first half. Dobbs with a wheel motion. Look at that move by Dobbs. That's a very good pass. Allen's got the ball. Allen now wings it over to Fields. Long shot. No good. Allen on the long shot. Allen's missed a couple long ones. He's trying to get back on defense. Look at Allen hustling back. <laughs> it's going to be four against one, though. What's Allen going to do? He's going to do nothing. Shot is up and good. <laughs> Look at Dobbs sitting back here cherry picking. <laughs> Dupree, Dupree, Dupree got the bucket. Allen was the only one back. It was four against one. 32 to five, coming up on the three minute mark in the first half. And I, Ed, you know what? The Steelers are tired. <laughs> look at them there, look at them. <laughs> Lips with the ball. Lips putting a nice, nice bounce pass shot. to Dobbs. Dobbs throws it back. Shot is up. No good. Behind the bat. Wow. Look at this wave they're moving. Must be one of their drills. Look how they just maneuver. Long three. Oh, no good. And you know what? To, talking to Coach Glass, they actually recruit for this program. There's wheelchair basketball at the high school level in some schools, and they go watch the players, especially in the Midwest. Yeah, and it's like... <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Dobbs getting help here. Down the lane, goes to his right, looking for help. Puts up an eight-footer, no good. <laughs> and then the referee blows the whistle. Yep, he's going to give Dobbs two shots. They said it was a foul. A, fan, a phantom foul. <laughs> Uh, Dobbs is going to stand up and shoot with the wheelchair hanging on him. Look at this. <laughs> Shot is up and no good. Maybe he should have stayed sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> Dobbs again. Second shot is up. No good again. But he gets his own reap. No, he doesn't. He goes fast break for the Scots. Braddock with the ball. Passes it. Up and in. <laughs> Dupree. Braddock to Dupree. 34 to 5. So they're padding the lead for the Steelers because they're going to get the points here at the half. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <They're up laughs> Steelers is saying, this is points. okay. Keep giving us points. <laughs> 145, the clock moving left in the first half. Mike Furrell, Ed Marin doing the interviews down on the court. Dwayne Kohler, Jeff Corey, our producer and cameraman as always. There's a quick pat shot. Up and in. There we go. Who hit that one? Big 71. Is that Feel? Yes, Feely? exactly. Feely. See, the ball goes out of bounds. I think it's a turnover. And Steelers now will try to get another bucket here with 123 to go. Dobbs looking, looking, looking. Throws it to oh, Allen with the nice hand. Stops. Long three. No good. It's going to be an air, air ball. ball. He's sitting down there talking to a fan. <laughs> He's not even playing. Edinburgh on another fast break. Thirty-six to seven, approaching the one-minute mark. Ryan Allen, long for shot. Three. Oh, oh right, off the tip. right off the head of the. Uh, Here right we off. go. Nice pass again. Back pass. Long three. Ooh. Good touch. Got his own rebound. 31 seconds to go. Lane with a shot. No good. Rebound again. 
They're not even getting Dupree it. puts it up and in. No, oh, nice play by Dupree. With 17 seconds to go, the clock run is going to be stolen oh, again oh, by oh, the oh. Fighting Scots. <laughs> 10 seconds. Here we go. Four seconds to go. No. Dobbs with the rebound, tries an outlet. Five seconds. And there, it's the end of the first oh. half. So at the end of one, Edinburgh 38 to seven, but that score will flip. And we're gonna go down for some interviews with Dwayne Cola. Joining us now, Josh Dobbs from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Josh, how's it going? <laughs> the score says it all. <laughs> it's tough, it's tough. <laughs> But it's fun, it's different. It's a different event. Come out, um, show some love, of course. I appreciate them. I have a whole different level and respect for like the athleticism they have to show in the wheelchair. My mom's been in a wheelchair since I was five, so I have a lot of respect for people that are stuck in a wheelchair and that are limited, they have limited disabilities. Um, so I never take for granted what I have each and every day. So this is a great event. Um, I'm having a lot of fun, sweating a lot. I'm gonna try to score. We're just trying to score more than seven points in the second half, though. Well, thanks for being here. This is great. This is great to see you here. Oh yeah, glad to be here. Glad to be here. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. And we're back, and you see Jeremy Brown of Meville Athletic fame, and now a running back for the Penn State Nittany Lions down there taking in this game. He's a friends of the Clatch family, and they invited him down here tonight, Ed, as we uh, come back with the second half. They reverse the score. The steal is 38 and Burl 7. Well, let's see how fast that uh, Edinburgh's going to come back and beat them. <laughs> I mean, they already scored seven points in the first half, and Dobbs had five of them. And Dobbs is working on his shot right down there. Dobbs had five of the seven, that's right. But now it's 38 to seven Steelers. As they just got done signing autographs and getting pictures taken and uh, treating the fans to a nice evening. I bet you uh, Josh Dobbs is a character in that locker room. I mean, you could just see him out there just having a good time and even Brian Allen. Yeah, Dobbs is a very good athlete too, so. It's going to be interesting with the Steelers training camp this year, having four quarterbacks in there. And I only saw, oh, okay, there's Brian Allen down there on the baseline. Yeah, Brian's trying to hide. <laughs> He's got a towel on him. So here we go. The Steelers will inbound the ball. They lead 38 to 7 as we start the third quarter here at McComb Field House on the campus of Edinburgh University. Mike Fiorella, Ed Marin, Dwayne Cole doing the interviews, and of course Jeff Corey doing all the producing. A and push off by Cameron. Alan. <laughs> yeah. Getting a little physical here to Steelers in the second half. As they whip the ball around. The long three-pointer off the backboard. So that was an NBA three right there. Look at this inside. Look at the work in the weave. They look like oh. they, they work that weave like the gold trotters do. <laughs> oh, oh! Allen with the grab. Allen's got to go the right way now. He's got to maneuver. Getting double teamed. <laughs> that is funny. He's doing a little hand maneuver there. Oh, he banked it off one of his players. Oh, Dobbs what a with, grab. Yes, Dobbs got good hands. He's trying to go. He had a little trouble maneuvering his uh, wheelchair. Nice pass to Lips. A footer. No. Oh. Lips is wide open there, too, Ed. Wide open. Just missed it. Nice pass. Look at this. Up and in. Brian can't hold on. Allen can't hold on to the ball. That was Shalott with the bucket again, number 55 for Edinburgh. And he is quite the player for them. Matt Frilly really couldn't hold on to that. Up. Oh. <laughs> there they go on the fast Another break. Another fast break. Whoop. Up and in. Cavalier with the bucket. Look how quick Cavalier gets back on defense, too. It's, it's yeah, amazing it's, how yes, strong they are. 38-11. Fighting Scott trying to get back into it. Still is a... F oh, they got a shot inside. Up and... Oh. No. You got to oh, keep it down, yeah. Yep. 
just went off. Uh, McGee couldn't hit that shot. Probably why McGee plays football. Look how they got McGee trapped in. <laughs> he <laughs> yeah, they do it. too. Outside Dobbs. Oh, oh, in and out. Lips with the rebound, puts it up. No good. <laughs> McGee, no good. McGee again, yes. <laughs> they go up 42-11. Steelers really come on here to take the lead. Nice fade, nice feed up and in. Oh, oh what quick great he got work. back up. Yep. Went down, got back up. Allen with the ball now. Over to Dobbs. <laughs> you see the pass the lay had inside underneath for Edinburgh? He's quite the player. We have a player down there for the Fighting Scots. McGee back to Dobbs. See, oh, oh, nice he's got job. Matt Healy open. Uh oh. Oh, Ooh, Mr. Too. Bunny. <laughs> it's all about touch. <laughs> These big guys don't have touch. McNally looking for a three. No good. McNally's going to get his own shot. McNally again looking for a three. Air ball. Hey. <laughs> McNally putting his head in his, in his jersey. See, Allen, Allen taunting him. Yeah, Allen was taunting him. Is right. Dobbs now looking to get the ball. <laughs> get down here. Ball goes out of bounds, too. <laughs> Allen's having a hard time. He is. Fighting Scott's down by 27 points with four and a half to go in the third period as they flip the score at the halftime. Down the lane. No one's going to pick him up, but he blows a bunny. Uh-oh, a little too strong. Dobbs is trying to get it. He gets up this wheelchair and runs after it, but still goes out of bounds. <laughs> Gets it yeah, anyway. He still missed it. Yep. <laughs> Malley with the ball. <laughs> Malley looking to go. This is fun to watch, Mike. It yeah. sure is. Nice move there. Oh. Off, off the glass. Kiss it in. What? Oh, what a shot. 40 to 15. Lips now taking his time. They might want to work the clock here, too, the Steelers. <laughs> Lips now putting some moves on. I'm not sure what kind of move. He throws it to somebody, and he throws it to the official. And they throw it to Dobbs. Dobbs with an eight-footer. No good. McNally with the rebound. McNally now pushing transition across the floor court. Just glides right in. Oh. Nice pass. Out of bounds to the Steelers. 328 to go, 40 to 15 the Steelers. <laughs> Some of the Steelers are just staying put. Oh, the refs are just holding them back a little yes, bit. Yes, they are. Our freezer <laughs> getting in the action. Dobbs with the ball now. Dobbs flying today. Yeah, in the is. second half. Yeah, another three pointer. Ooh. No good. Dobbs is firing him up. Looks like Allen's starting to get it now. <laughs> oh. Nice break coming up here, three and one. Nice fake move, up and in, oh, rebound, up, oh. Shot is up, good. <laughs> Long pass. Shot is going out of bounds. 40 to 17. Dobbs with a nice pass. Here's a three shot. Ooh. Ooh. And a foul. <laughs> 40 to 17 with 2 2 7 left in the third period. Dobbs is going to shoot two. Oh, no, no, he's not. He's in the lane, though. Shot is up and good by McGee. I think Lewis Lips is going to be taking an ice bath when he gets home. <laughs> Look at McGee's going to get one more. It was a three-point he was fouled on. Shot is up and good. McGee, 42. 
with a steal of 17 for the Fighting Scots. 225 to go in the third as the Fighting Scots bring it up in the backcourt. Not to the forecourt. Look at this passing. Look at that. Cavalier up and in. McNally with the steal as he waits for his teammate. Ooh. McNally gets that off the shot. Cavalier puts it up and in. Nice shot by Cavalier. 42 to 21 with 140 left in the third. Look at this basket hanging down here. Shot is up and good. Man, he was a, what they call that, Ed, when you stay on Cherry the pick. Cherry pick, yeah. <laughs> He's <laughs> a big boy. Yeah, he sure is. 44 to 21. Nice back pass. Now he puts up a three. No good. Rebound again. I'll tell you what, he is pounding the boards inside all night long. Shot is up and doesn't get it to go. We're still down 23 points. Trying to get rewarded for all his hustle getting the boards. Ball goes out of bounds to, to the Finding Scots. McNally will inbound it, and he does. Nice ball movement by the Finding Scots. Shot is up and no good. Down to 55 seconds to go in his third quarter. <laughs> Allen falls off his wheel. Oh, what a nice pass, pass to though. Shot is up. No good. Moats is wanting a foul. <laughs> down to 40 seconds in this third quarter. Enville trying to get another one. Can they cut it down to 20? Oh. Nice back pass. Shot is up and short. Look at this. Down the lane. He dunks it home. <laughs> Allen, what a dunk. You know, our producer, Jeff Corey, said earlier he wanted to know if we see any dunks today. Well, Jeff, you just saw your dunk. And they didn't give it to him. <laughs> they didn't? No, they did. I guess you're not allowed to dunk in a wheelchair basketball. He sinks that. Cut. Go to three. Buries it. 20-point game with the third period closing out. He's buried that shot all net. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. 44 to 24 Steelers. Here at Enville University, and we just got updated on Allen. That is not the Allen that sealed the draft from Penn State. This is Brian Allen from Utah. You know what the mascot of Utah is? Utah? Do you know what it is? Can't remember. You don't remember? 44. I thought you would know. 44 to 24 as we get back here. Right? What are you looking for in the fourth quarter? A comeback by Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> A good ball movement. Look at that juke. Oh. Here we go. Shot is up and no good. Rebounds up and good. Eight point, 18 point game now. Oh, long pass to Moats and out of his reach. 44 to 26, uh -oh. 7.42. Uh -oh. Hey. Look how fast. They get down the court. Nice, nice. pass. Yes. Up you see how in. they stop that? They actually lean into one direction. <laughs> what a steal. Steal as they lead the break now. And we have a whistle. Technical. <laughs> Technical. <laughs> Did he really tee him up? Yeah, he teed him up. Wow. He's not happy. He's coming over to the side here. Allen doesn't think he should have got teed up. Edinburgh not only get the shots, but get the ball out of bounds. 44 to 28. They're putting a, they're putting a squeeze on him here, Ed, at the foul line. Missed the first one. Uh, watch what the Steelers are doing. <laughs> shots up. No good. He missed both of them. 
but they get the rebound. Seven nineteen to go, forty four twenty eight in favor of the Steelers. Long shot is up, no good. Shot is up, good. Wolf with the putback for the Scots. As the Steelers now the lead pass, long shot is up and no Ooh. good, almost just off the rim. Allen runs out of it, gets the ball, brings his wheelchair with him. <laughs> hey, gets the ball back away, <laughs> but it went out of bounds. They're gonna let him keep it. Wolf now had the ball and he threw it. He still got it. Down the lane. Oh, nice give and go. Shot is up. Ooh. Apperly misses it, puts it up and in. <laughs> Jake McGee wanted to call for a push off there. He wasn't going to give it to him. 44-32, and we're only down by 12 with 6.25 to go. Plenty of times. <laughs> Dobbs trying all he can to get going. Throws it to Allen. Allen hasn't moved from that position for a minute. He's posing. <laughs> He's doing a lot of talking. Long uh -oh. three. Oh, the front of the rim. Uh oh, here we come. And Wolf can't control it. Goes out of bounds. Nice steal. Nice, very nice steal. Nice pass. Oh, inside look up and in. Good feed. 44-34, goes out of bounds. 5.45 to go. <laughs> Came back and hit Moats in the face. Moats, Moats is laughing. Look at that, look at the fanciness here. Wow. Oh, Dobbs with the interception. Nice pick by Dobbs, right in the passing lane. Most has got it now. He's trying to give the give and go, shake and bake. Gives it to Dobbs. <laughs> Look at Dobbs trying to move. Whoa, oh, behind be Moats. Call the foul. Five thirteen to go, 44-34. Steelers put up a shot and blocked. Calling the foul. On the foul. Let's see. Five minutes left, 10-point game. McGee's going to shoot two. First one up is no good. This might come down to the wire, Mike. Might go to overtime. Second shot is up and no good. Fighting Scott's on the break as they spread the court again. Look for the open man. Nice pass inside, but the re... And they're going to call a foul on Dobbs. Dobbs says, are you kidding me? He's offensive charge. Look at Dobbs. And they call the charge. Ruffy goes to Dobbs. You're right, it was a charge. Brian Allen down there eating somebody's popcorn <laughs> down on the side down there. 44-34 Steelers. Got to put a little press on. Oh, and they turn it over. Down the lane, puts it up and in. What a steal. What a great play right there. We got a bump going on here. Yeah, it's going to be a foul on Edinburgh. Yep. Oh. Edinburgh down by eight. Dobbs is talking to the official, pleading his case. <laughs> He's telling the guy who fouled me. Here goes Dobbs now, trying to get away. <laughs> He's going to throw it to the middle. It's going to be picked off. Look how quick this break's going. Down the lane. Doesn't have a shot. Nice pass back. Up and in. Oh, my. Wow. Six points now. 44-38, Ed, with four minutes to go. 
Six point lead. Steel Elite has dwindled here. McGee with the shot. And oh, wow. McGee puts a big one up. A three. Makes it a nine point lead for the Steels with 3.50 to go on the clock running. Steels having trouble getting back on defense. <laughs> it's just funny watching them pushing the uh, wheelchairs yeah. down there. And they're <laughs> they're going Zach. so fast, but their arms are going faster with the wheels are turning. Yes, that was Zach Craddock with the shot for Edinburgh. As Dobbs now on the right side. Long shot. Oh! oh! Wow, look at the Steelers. <laughs> they didn't put it up on the scoreboard yet. There now it is. Did. Ten point game with three minutes left. Nice pass. Oh! Oh, I missed it again. <laughs> Look at the defense he's putting on now. Him and Allen's having a lot of fun tonight. So Edinburgh will keep possession of that. Wolf had. Wolf, Wolf gets the ball back. Wolf down the middle. Wolf's putting a little move on. A three. Good. Oh. Drained it. Down about the two minute mark. Seven point game. Lane with the big three. <laughs> Steelers made two big buckets in the second half, the last minute, Ed. Two big ones to get a six oh. points. Throw it away here with 150. Fighting Scott's down by seven. Oh, nice move by Allen, but I don't think it's legal. Technical. Yeah, I don't think it's legal. I think you got to stay in your wheelchair. I'm just guessing on that. Uh, what do you think? I think you're right. I'll give that one to you this time. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, they did tee him up. That's his second one. Oh. Craddock puts it up. No good. 145 left. They get the ball, too, with the technical. They need to make this one. He does on net. 50 to 44. And Bro gets the ball. Down by six, 145. Got a lifetime left in this game. On three. Oh, rebound. Let's see. And uh, Bro keeps it. Off Dobbs' hand. Dobbs arguing about it, but it did go off his hand. <laughs> is he going to shoot it? Yes, yes, he is. Lane with a oh, long air, ball. air ball by Lane. 139, seal is up by six. Can they keep it now for 139, Ed? Mm, no. Allen wanted the ball. Here we go. Nice pass. Right back. Get. <laughs> Chant of defense goes up. Scott's down by four. 120 in the clock running. This is the pressure time. <laughs> Dobbs is just running away with the ball, keeping it away from men, bro. Doesn't want to pass it. Now he does. McGee in the middle throws up a 90 footer. No good. Oh. Yeah, Allen's just staying over on the yeah, side. Yeah, Allen's not moving. Allen is like. I think he's wore out. He's, he's tired. Minute to go. Scott's down by four. He's having fun with the fans. Oh, oh. McGee with the stop. Yes. 
Long pass, uh, but Edinburgh should get it. Oh, oh. oh, what a great play right there by Craddock. Craddock moving down with 40 seconds to go. Edinburgh's got a hustle. To the corner, wide open three. Oh, nice rebound back. Eight footer, good, banks it home. And a foul. And a foul. He'll go to the line to shoot one. <laughs> 32 seconds to go. Edinburgh going over to get some instructions from Coach Clatch. <laughs> he comes Allen with his chair. <laughs> oh, now he makes it past half court. Yep. He spent the whole yeah. second half down he there. He did. He's introducing himself to everybody on this side for once. He wants to get in the way of the shooter. That's what he's doing. He's trying to intimidate the shooter. N miss on nice. purpose. Put it up. Oh. Dobbs oh, with the rebound. He's on it. And jump, jump ball. ball. <laughs> Look at Dobbs. Where's the arrow pointing? Edinburgh. Oh, you know, is it? Yes, down there. Okay. Edge right on it. Technical foul. Dobbs got another technical. <laughs> Dobbs is coming over to the table to see why he got technical. Probably because he's wearing, look, he's jumping up and down maybe. Yes. <laughs> now Brian Allen's over there on the scoreboard. <laughs> Ryan's still arguing as then the play resumes. Shot is up and good. We got a tie score. Oh, they're stopping the clock. <laughs> tie score. Steelers now. Well, we go to overtime. We might go to overtime, Ed. 15 seconds. We got a whistle. 10 second violation. And there goes Brian. Allen's the leaving court. the court. He's like, I'm out of here. Yeah, he comes out the other side. I think he went to go get popcorn and a hot dog. God, we eight seconds to go! Comeback by the Fighting Scots. <laughs> Five, four, Dobbs hustling down the court with the ball. Two, one, at the buzzer, no good. <laughs> Your final score, folks. Edinburgh Fighting Scots, 52. The Pittsburgh Steelers, 50. We want to thank Coach Glatch, AD Bruce Baumgartner, everybody here at Edinburgh University. I want to thank my partner, Ed Marin, of course, Jeff Corey on the camera, and of course, with the interviews, Dwayne Kohler. This is Mike Furrell saying, have a good night, everybody. <laughs>